lot of talk about Raspberry Pis lately, but what is a Raspberry Pi and what can we do with it? Not those kinds of raspberries and not that Raspberry Pi either. Uh, no, but that does give me an idea. Raspberry, get it? Seriously, I've been waiting for a legitimate reason to wear this costume again. It's funny. Okay, back to business. These are the Geek Girl Diaries and this week it's Raspberry Pi time. <laughs> my Raspberry Pi. As you can see it's very very small. It's about the size of my hand and my hands are really really small. Um, so if I compare this with say a CD you can see that the CD is a little bit bigger. They're roughly the same size. A Raspberry Pi is a little computer. It has inputs, it has a processor on it and it has outputs. It has some USB ports for um, keyboards and mice or webcams or any kind of input device. It has a HDMI port to plug into a monitor. This is an output device. It has a little socket for power, which is actually a kind of BlackBerry charger power supply. It has sound jacks if you want to plug in some headphones or some speakers. It has a networking port, an ethernet port on it, so you can plug it into a network and maybe into a router to the internet. It's got some other exciting ports to expand the capacity of it. It also has an SD card slot. So this is where your storage device is. This is where your operating system will probably run from or any programs you want to run from it. Let's have a look at these ports in a little bit more detail. Here we've got the USB ports the Ethernet port, the networking port, the HDMI port, and this is where the SD card slot is. So this is where you can clip in your SD card. This is the power port, and I'm actually using a charger from a BlackBerry. Um, you can buy chargers separately online. There's your sound jack, and if we zoom in, this is where the processor is. It's kind of like a processor you would find in a smartphone. Right, now what I want to do is get my Raspberry Pi working for the first time. So I need to plug the SD card into just a normal computer and I need to do something exciting called flashing it. I've plugged my SD card into my computer and now what I want to do is get the software that I need for my Raspberry Pi to run onto that SD card. So the first place to go to is raspberrypi.org uh, the website for Raspberry Pi and what's really great about this website is it's very clear to find the information that you need and I would really recommend using the quick start guide that will explain all the steps of what you need to do especially if you're new to this. This device is great for teenagers, for young people to have a go at. It, all the information is there and really easy to understand. I'm going to click on downloads and I'm going to get the Linux, the software, the operating system that I need to put on my SD card. So it's just simply reading the instructions, following the guides, and then clicking the right links to download them. This is the distribution I want, and now I'm going to save it onto my computer. I've downloaded my software for my Raspberry Pi from the Raspberry Pi website, and because I'm using Windows, what I need to do now is get another piece of software. So I've come to this website, um, if you just type in Win32 Image Writer into Google, you will find this website. And it's where you can download the program that you need to get to flash your SD card for your Raspberry Pi to put your operating system onto it. So what I want to do is I want to download the binary. So I'm going to click on the binary. And then I'm going to follow the instructions to install that software. Once installed, you simply run the Win32 Disk Imager and then I'm going to locate the downloaded software for my Raspberry Pi. So here it is. Uh, I'm going to select the image and click Save. And then I'm going to click where I want it to end up, which is on my SD card, which is the F drive, which you can find out by going to your My Computer and check in and then click right, yes, and you'll see it's starting to flash your SD card with the operating system that you want to put on your Raspberry Pi. 
It takes a little while, but once it's completed, it will say, right, successful, click OK. You must leave your SD card in while this is happening. Once that pop-up box has come up, you can close this and you can take it out of your computer. Next up, it's time to plug your SD card into your Raspberry Pi and then plug in all your other devices like your keyboard and mouse and a HDMI cable. And I plugged mine into my TV. There you can see the power supply plugged in. So I plugged everything else in first, then I plugged in the power supply and you can see very quickly it begins to load. All that crazy writing you can see on the screen, that is the software booting, the operating system booting. And I did think about speeding this up, but I thought actually I'll leave it in real time just to show you how long it takes for it to boot. So that's it. At this point, um, it was asking me to put in um, like date and time settings, location settings. I decided just to skip this, went straight to the bottom. Not advisable, but for this I decided to do that. And then what I did was I created a new user. And it's really simple to do, it's just a couple of lines of code which you can get from the internet. Once I'd done that, I logged in with that user account. So here you can see me logging in, you can see me sitting on the floor with the keyboard in the reflection of the TV. So I typed in my username and password and then I typed StartX and that's what loaded the very pretty looking Raspberry Pi graphical user interface. That's what happens when you first plug in a Raspberry Pi. And at this point you might be thinking, well, what's next? Where can I take it? What could I do with it? And that is a question that puzzles a lot of people. I'm not comfortable, I've never seen this screen before, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do next. What can I do with it? It's up to you. It's your imagination. You take it where you want to take it. Maybe you want it to be a weather station and you want it to record information and output it. Maybe you want to shoot it into space and record some data. Maybe you want to use it to create computer games. Maybe you just want it to be a media player so you can stream videos off of it or music. Maybe an idea is to plug a webcam into it, set it up so that it takes pictures as soon as there's any movement in your room and outputs that information to a website that you could get anywhere, even on your phone. Maybe you're going to be the person who actually invents the TARDIS. You will need to learn some programming and this would be a really great way to do it. The place to go to learn some Python programming is Codecademy. Another place you might want to go is a Raspberry Jam and this is a meeting point where people from your community will turn up and there'll be experts in programming and there'll be people already doing stuff with the Raspberry Pi. Maybe you've got a question or maybe you're stuck. They will help you. There's a really great online community and there's always the Raspberry Pi website. There are plenty of videos on YouTube to get you started. I'm really excited to see where people take the Raspberry Pi, especially young people. And I'll be attending PyCon this year and I'll hope that I'll pick up some great ideas that I'll be able to show you in later videos. You've been watching the Geek Girl Diaries, remember, I'm just a mouse click away. Thank you.